Okay. So finished, uh, just finished recording the uh, physical portion of my DIY pool controller. This is the logic behind it. So this is uh, Node Red. It's running on a the Raspberry Pi that's that's in the pool controller. And I just wanted to go over how it's laid out, um, how it's programmed. So um, let's see. It, it all kind of starts with the dashboard, right? So I need a dashboard. I need some way to interface with uh, my pool controller. So Node Red has a, 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 a node, I guess, called a dashboard. And every time I add something to it, uh, it shows up here on the web page, right? And I've got my light show, right, where I can pick my lights. I think I talked about that. And then a diagnostic screen. This uh, this is from the relay. Um, the relay board re gets red and it sets these LEDs. So like right now, I know that my pump's on and my pool cleaner's going. Uh, and everything else is off. So how how did I do that, right? So I, I go to the dashboard node here and they have these little settings. Uh, for most of them, I use a switch, right? So that's my pump, my blower. The minute I drag these on, they, they eh, wrong screen, they show up here. Um, and then I also have scenes. So like if I, click my spa on, it will turn my blower on only for 30 seconds, right? Because I have a trigger node that runs it for 30 seconds and then sends it off. Um, it turns my pump on and it uh, enables my heater uh, in, in spa mode. So that's kind of how this whole thing works. Um, what else? Oh, so the Sequent Microsystems uh, doesn't really have native node red. Um, drivers so it's kind of uh, I don't want to use the term kludgy but it's kind of kludgy <laughs> um, in that it runs what's called an exec node uh, in node red and basically what that is is this command gets sent to uh, the Raspberry Pi you know just like you were at a DOS prompt in Windows or something it just runs it from from the command line um, so in this case if I hit the the pump button it's gonna send a, a one or a zero depending on Right on payload is sends a one off payload sends a zero, uh, depending on whether I clicked it on or off, it's going to send that through to this next node. And, uh, this is basically saying run the relay eight program with the parameters of zero. So that's board zero. I only have one board in there, uh, right to the first relay. And then you'll notice there's a space here, right? Because there's actually, it appends the, the one or zero from the, the node before that's checked. So it'll actually be right one and then space and then zero or one. Um, and that'll turn it on or off. So that's basically how it works. Um, oh, there's a scheduler. So if I go over here, it's one, let me cancel that. One of the cool things about Node Red is all these people, you know, write all this logic for it and then you can easily download it. So I decided I needed a scheduler, right, to, to for running my pump. So I typed in schedule and down pop these options and I, I looked them all over and I decided that this is the, the one I wanted and I clicked install. And uh, about two minutes later, I had uh, a couple of new nodes show up, a light scheduler and a LS filter. That's for sun position. So if you want to do something based on, you know, dark or light or sunrise or sunset, it knows that you put in your, your geo, your longitude latitude coordinates. Um, but I, I'm not doing any of that. I'm just using a standard light scheduler for my pump. Um, so as you can see, I kick it off at 5.45 a.m., goes till 6.30, turns off. Uh, it, then again at 4 p.m., right before the kids get home, and it runs until uh, 10.30. Um, these coincide with uh, my Stenner pump. I have an Econ T, so it's the timer isn't built into Node Red. It's, it's actually on the pump itself. And uh, I dose chlorine at six, so I want my pump to run then. And I dose at nine, uh, so I want it to run for a little while, get really, you know, uh, spread out in the pool so that it works all night. The chlorine works all night on any kind of bad stuff that got introduced. And I start at four just because that gets the skimmers going. And, um, hang on. Um, that gets the skimmers going and, uh, you know, just pulls, pulls stuff off. So the pool looks nice when everybody gets home from school or work or wherever. Um, so basically, yeah, all these do are they trigger the, the relays on the sequent microsystems, which trigger the bigger relays, 
um, that you know let the power go through to the the various components. Um, the light show. This is kind of cool. So um, my my pool pump or my pool light, excuse me, um, has the option to have different uh, shows. It's an LED light. There's one in my pool, one in my spa, and um, by uh, turning on and off the light switch a certain amount of times, it will uh, it will pick, right? So this is, if you flip it once, it, it's gonna run Voodoo Lounge. If you flip it on and off twice, it's gonna flip, or it's gonna run Deep Blue Sea. If you flip it on and off three times, Afternoon Skies, so on and so forth uh, for 20, uh, down, down to this 20th program. So um, my light show, that's what, that's what that does, is it presents those, um, those menus, right? And it's got a counter and it's just got a simple four, oh, 12 programs, uh, simple, you know, loop right here. There's a counter and it just goes one, two, three, four, and flips the light off, on, off, on, off, on, um, you know, the needed amount of times. So I can do just the pool, I can do the spa, or I can select um, a sync light show and it actually sends the same selection to both at once. So they'll, um, they'll, they both pick the same program. Um, we talked about the diagnostics. So one, one of the things I noticed was things could get out of sync. Uh, if you reboot the node, uh, node red, the Raspberry Pi, when it's running, the relay may not necessarily kick off, um, but node red is starting from scratch. So I wrote this uh, flow. Um, to kind of, uh, well, I did it so that I could um, do this, right? Have a diagnostic screen. But one of the added benefits is I take that, what it learned, right? Because it's reading the relay. So it's saying, hey, relay, are you on or off, right? For one, relays one through eight. Um, it actually will send that to a uh, this node, which takes it back to the pool pump or the pool controller screen and it and comes out here and it will actually set it on or off to what it physically is being read from the relay, it will push that back into these. So these switches are always uh, in sync with what the hardware is actually doing. Um, this flow is Alexa. So uh, this, this <laughs> my, my echo heard me. Um, this worked great up until a couple weeks ago. Amazon apparently pus pushed some new firmware out. So this no longer works. Um, hopefully the, the smart guys that wrote this node will, will get it fixed. But basically you just create this device, Amazon Echo Hub, and um, you say, you know, discover devices and it discovers this. And in turn, it also discovers pool pump, blower, pool light, spa light, you know, so on and so forth. And that's actually the name that you can reference it by. So you would say, you know, a, a, uh, turn on the pool cleaner and it will send, um, and on, I, I change true or false to one or zero again, right? Cause that's how my code works. And then it sends it back to the, uh, so like the spa light, right? I have a, it sends it back to this flow right here and we'll turn on the spa light. It runs, runs this code. Um, one of the cool things about the Sequient Microsystems board I had, the Mega IO, was it also had uh, ADCs and optocouplers and a, and a DAC and, I'm not even sure what optocouplers do, but it sounds cool. Um, so uh, what I do here is I read um, a couple different things. The pressure one, I have a transducer on the top of the filter. And so this will read that um, every 30 seconds. And then it, uh, mega IO, yeah, that reads it. And then uh, does a little, it returns a, a value and uh, it's actually the voltage, it's zero or 0 0.5 through 4.5 volts. Um, it returns it in kind of a text format. So I've got to clean it up a little bit and then I convert it to PSI, right? So uh, if the voltage returns 2.5, I do some math here and that spits out, you know, uh, 16 PSI. And then that's actually displayed on this gauge. Um, the reason it's, it's uh, disabled at the moment is because uh, of my, my power surge that I had. Um, the power went out. I think there was a, a voltage spike. And when it came back up, my Sequent Microsystems with the Mega IO uh, piece, the analog, you know, uh, digital inputs, 
didn't work anymore. So luckily I had a, a just the eight board, eight port relay model also. So I just swapped that out and I disabled all this, this, um, this code for right now. Um, it, you know, temperature, right? You can, you can do the same thing, put a, a temperature probe in that returns voltage and, uh, convert it to Fahrenheit and make a little temperature gauge. And then also, um, I had a hall sensor in there around my pool pump, uh, wiring so I could sense how much current was going through. So, um, you know, that pump doesn't run more than eight amps. So if there's 10 amps, right. And I see that here, um, you know, I know I have some kind of problem uh, and it's time to, you know, look at the pump or, you know, see what's going on. Maybe it's jammed and it's just going to short circuit or who knows, but, um, it was just nice to be able to have that stuff for monitoring. Um, and then I have a work in progress where I work on some stuff. Uh, there's actually a gesture based board that I'm going to be putting on the pool controller, uh, right in the window. So basically you just can wave your hand over it. You wave your hand over it in a certain direction, left to right, up to down, you know, right to left. And I was going to have it do different things. So, you know, if I don't have a phone for some reason, I can still walk over to the, the pool controller, wave my hand down and it shuts the system off, um, you know, or wave my hand to the left and it turns the pool lights on or turns the spawn. Haven't figured out what I'm going to do with all of them yet, but um, that's the plans going forward. So anyway, this is the, the kind of the, the guts of it. So again, any questions, uh, you know, put them in, feel free to put them in the comments. Thanks.